Yes, hello. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, world. Once again, this is Coach Ariel, and welcome to Kingdom Talk. Today, we have again in this program from Minnesota. Let's welcome Beverly Tepton Hammond. Welcome to the program. Good morning. Long time no see, huh? Yes, it's <laughs> been a long time. Oh my gosh, I miss you guys a lot. <laughs> I got to get to the Philippines. <laughs> amen and amen. Amen. So today, I'm excited to, to hear the message that we agree about change agents. It is time. Mm -hmm. So just like what I'm always saying to all my guests, this is your show. This is your program, Dominate All the Spirit of Influence. Amen. Praise God. It's good to see you again. I'm excited about what the Lord is doing in this season. And as we all know, uh, all the saints know that this month of June and even prior, there's We've stepped into a new season, mm -hmm. a season of uh, manifestation, mm -hmm. a season of shaking. We see the shifting. We see the earth, the earth and the creation groaning. Mm -hmm. We see what's going on in politics. We see mm -hmm. what's going on around the world. And we know that time is winding up. Mm -hmm. But until we manifest the very purpose for which we were born, the time's not quite up. Yes. And God is pruning us. He's been refining us. Think about the fact that Jesus did not begin to walk in his ministry until he was 30 years old. Yeah. So between being born and 30, yes. he was being pruned mm -hmm. and groomed and, and broken, being made ready mm -hmm. to be the change agent that he was called to be, yes. the son of God. The father wow. is preparing his son. <laughs> Yes, yes. Before I go in too far, I would love to pray for the listening audience. Thank you, oh God. Hallelujah. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. There's nothing too hard for you. Yes, you Father. reign and rule supreme in heaven and earth. Yes, we give Father. you glory this morning just for waking us up and putting the breath in our lungs. Lord, we thank you. We praise and we ask, Lord, that you hide me behind the cross this morning yes, and let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Oh, Lord, you are strength and our redeemer. Answer the questions that are being pondered by those who are listening. Answer the prayers of those who are interceding. Lord, we ask, oh God, that you would manifest yourself in a special way on this morning and speak to your people all over the world. Thank you for kingdom talk. Thank you for Coach Preci and Coach Ariel yes, and their family. Bless them tremendously. Bless them above and beyond all they could ask or think yes, according Lord. to your riches and glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 So we're in a new place. We're in a new yes. place. <laughs> no weapons formed against us shall prosper and all that we've gone through has been for God to get the best out of us. Yes, that's right. <laughs> oh my gosh. It took a while, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it takes us a little too long just to get over us, right? Hey. <laughs> and then realize that it's all about him. Yes. It's all about him. Uh, what the, the song that says, I'm going back to the heart of worship and it's all about you. Mm -hmm. All about you, Jesus. I'm so sorry for the thing I made it. I turned it into something else, but it's all about the yes. King of Kings. And the Lord of Lords. Maybe you need to huh? sing that song at the end. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> you know, you always pinching me to do extra stuff. Looking at the title of this message, Change Agents. It is time. And right, mm -hmm. there's just so powerful there. Yeah. Because I, I found the definition, the, the secular definition for change agents. And it says, a change agent or an agent of change is someone who promotes and enables change to happen within any group or organization. In a business, a change agent is an individual who promotes and supports a new way of doing something with the company. Mm -hmm. When I went to, uh, when I got my master's degree, we, we read a book about blue ocean strategies. Mm -hmm. A blue ocean strategy is something that someone gets an idea to do something a different way that's never been done. Mm -hmm. In the spiritual realm, as a Christian, if we're change agents because Christ in us is the hope of glory. Mm -hmm. We're change agents because we've surrendered and submitted our lives to him. And we come to understand that there's something in us 
that he put in us mm -hmm. a gift, a calling, a work, a book, a business, whatever it might be, a church mm -hmm. to build. That if we don't do it, it won't get done. Uh, I, I heard I heard a, a famous actor say that. He said, there's something that you were destined to do. There is something that you've been equipped to do. And if you don't do it, it won't get done. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm getting goosebumps as I'm saying, because I'm thinking, what if Christ said to his father, look, uh, I know people are dying in their sin. He said, but I really don't want to go to the cross. <laughs> We we don't have the option once we say yes to God. It's 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 a total and complete yes. So that's about the change agent. We're in we're in a season and time where we feel we see all the signs of the end times. A book by Charles Dickens to say it was the best of times and the worst of times. Mm -hmm. And we've been hearing even prophetically from various prophetic and apostolic voices that the month of June is a month of birthing and release. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm watching God do that in my life to the point where, you know, someone comes and knocks on your door and says, hey, this is for you. And you're like, <laughs> God <laughs> is showing up and blessing his people and, and giving us the opportunity to step into the very purpose for which we were born. Yeah, it's like, right. like, so now you're ready. We weren't ready maybe a few months ago. We weren't ready last year. The scripture that I have, uh, when the fullness of time had come, Mary brought forth. Mm -hmm. We know that we see that in the scripture, that Mary brought forth. And so for us, the children of, of God, it is time to birth mm -hmm. and manifest the very purpose for which we were born. Romans. So are you saying that every one of us, we have a divine appointment with God? We have a divine appointment. And when you, when I heard you say that, I'm thinking doctor's appointment. So we, <laughs> we make our doctor's appointments are very important, right? For yeah. our physical and mental health. Mm -hmm. But what about our divine appointment? Yeah. That is even more crucial. And so mm -hmm. God will heal us, strengthen us, prepare us, renew us, fortify us, deliver mm -hmm. us from sin so that we can walk out the very purpose for which we were born. Yes. And, and so all of us have different assignments. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, I just keep feeling I need to let folk know, if you don't do it, it won't get done. Mm -hmm. So we got to get over ourselves. We need to do it that while we have strength. Yeah, amen. As we're getting <laughs> a little older here, I'm not going to tell my age. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we need to get it done. Yeah. Uh, so I wanted to read this scripture um, in Romans 8. But we know that the whole creation has been groaning as in the pains of childbirth right up to now. Not only so, but we ourselves who have the first fruits of the spirit groan inwardly as we all wait uh, uh, eagerly for our adoption as sons, mm -hmm. the redemption of our bodies. Mm -hmm. For in this hope, we, we were saved, but hope that is seen is no hope at all. Who hopes for what he has already had? But if we hope for what we do not have, we wait patiently for it. Mm -hmm. I'm just focusing on that first part. We see that the whole creation is groaning. Mm -hmm. We see that men are more lovers of themselves and lovers of God. Mm -hmm. So if our assignment is just to be, let's say, a worker in a hospital who's filled with the spirit, who shares the, the, the love of Christ in the hospital, praying for people, we all... Um, have an assignment. One of the verse that yeah. you have mentioned is really powerful. Then I asked, you know, when I, when I asked God why the creation is groaning, it's, then it's the groaning. Holy Spirit told me because the creation is being ruled and being managed by people who don't have the mind of Christ. Amen. That is powerful revelation. That's very <laughs> true. You have somebody driving the car without a license. <laughs> they, they that's yes, really that's right. powerful. Wow. Say that one more time. The creation is groaning when I ask the Holy Spirit, what does it mean? Why the mm -hmm. creation is groaning? The Holy mm -hmm. Spirit uh, told me because the creation is being managed or ruled by people who don't have the mind of Christ. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and that's so true. And we see, we see... We see that everywhere in every mountain, in in uh, politics, yeah, in uh, arts, mm -hmm. 
in in every mountain do you see that and i believe that the, the creation the creation is rejoicing in the sphere of uh, art because you are already dominating in that area of influence and right it now is, they are rejoicing yeah. wow <laughs> That is interesting. I, I'm so honored that God does that. You know, we, mm -hmm. um, maybe previous, uh, those who are listening, who have heard, listened to heard me say this in past broadcasts, that um, in our art gallery, our art gallery is really a marketplace ministry mm -hmm. because a lot of people come in there wounded and, and, and frustrated and going through serious, some very serious battles. Um, and I end up praying for them right in the gallery. And these are people who maybe... A lot of them don't even go to church. And so marketplace ministry, no matter where you work, whatever you do, if you're a Christian, then you're shining the light in the darkness for wherever mm -hmm. you are. And mm -hmm. so it's really um, important that we we stay open and available uh, to be used in that way. Uh, what does being a change agent mean to us? Mm -hmm. So. Um, I believe that, that Christ who has been transformed, we, we as Christians, when we are transformed by the renewing of our minds and we're conformed into his image, mm -hmm. he said, I give you power and authority to cast out devils. I, mm -hmm. I've given you my power and authority. All we need to do is maintain purity and walking, walking in the spirit so mm -hmm. that we do not fulfill the lust of the mm -hmm. flesh. That's what my book Cross Points is all about, dying mm -hmm. to self. So yes. it's no more I, but Christ that lives within me. So the Lord spoke to me yesterday and said, a servant of God, this is what a change agent is, filled with the spirit, led by the spirit of God to manifest the power, the glory, the transformation and revelation in his word. Mm -hmm. Wherever there repeat, is a change. Huh? Can you repeat that word? That is powerful. Yes. A servant, of, uh, a change agent is a servant of God filled with the spirit of God, led by God to manifest the power, the mm -hmm. glory, transformation, and revelation in his word. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. I'm looking at the books behind you. You've got all of those books with information, maybe <laughs> you know, five different versions of the Bible, uh, books by, uh, uh, what's his name? Prince. It was uh, Derek Prince mm -hmm. and, and John Hagee and all these incredible uh apostolic leaders who some are here, some are going to be with the Lord. But if you don't read those books, then yeah. you're not being equipped, right? Mm -hmm. So that's what I was thinking. So we have the power and the ability, but we, a lot of us are filled with the spirit, but we don't listen to the spirit. Mm -hmm. So we, we mm -hmm. have the spirit, we have Christ in us, but mm -hmm. we, we're towing the line sometime, we're compromising. This is not the season of compromise. But the, even the Bible says, no man know the day or hour when mm -hmm. the, the, the Son of Man shall return. So we have to be, as um, my spiritual mom says, in a, in a state of constant readiness mm -hmm. for his return, but also a constant readiness to be used mm -hmm. wherever he puts us. So yes. wherever there is a change agent, he or she is submitted to God, consecrated and yielded. To mm -hmm. preach, teach, and this is the most important part, win the lost through the message of the gospel. Mm -hmm. um, I'm talking to myself, too. We need to be in the word even more because the word is a light into our feet and a mm -hmm. lamp into our path. Mm -hmm. So if we're not in the word, we, we're just making our own path. We're, <laughs> we, 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 feel, we got a yeah. little unction, but we miss. We might miss something because not we're not really in the word of God, letting that word feed us and mm -hmm. transform us our charge is matthew 28 19 to 20 go ye therefore and teach all nations mm -hmm. baptizing in the name of the father the son and the, and the holy, holy ghost Spirit. amen i've already talked about how the creation is groaning and just in, in plain simple terms we are someone's answer mm -hmm. we have christ in us you know i see now i see sometimes uh People, the, the more you die to self, you, you're more available to be used. I was in a restaurant the other day, and I was like, why, why are the people staring at me? And sometimes I'm like, why are you, I'm thinking, why? 
and it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> I've finally gotten over me, right? And wherever I am, I'm realizing that the glory of the Lord is emanating uh, from me. Most days, you know, we got days. We all have days. But for the most part, even in spite of us, we're vessels of honor, right? Mm -hmm. So when people see us, I even see little babies look up and they're smart. Because babies are smart. They know. They, <laughs> yes. They they recognize Christ in, in, in us. Um, the scripture says, after you have suffered a while, the God of all grace will settle and strengthen you. The pruning and the, the pain, the trials, the devastation, the trauma. I've talked about even through my book, Healed Am I. I've talked about my personal trauma. And that book is blessing a lot of people. Mm -hmm. But we all go through Jesus suffered and then experienced the glorious resurrection. Mm -hmm. That was the process that he had to go through. Our process has matured us and, and helped us to die to self so that we can manifest the glory and the kingdom of God wherever he puts us. And so um, the saints of God are in labor. Now it's time to bring forth. We, we've been it's talked about how we, we're, we're pushing and we're, we, we, we've been pruned and we, we're travailing in the spirit. And, um, Christ is the only answer, and, and there's so much deception in the world. As I said earlier, men are more lovers of themselves than lovers of God. The, the, the hearts have waxed cold. Despite that, we are still. We shine the light in the earth, wherever we are. So now, again, the saints of God are in labor to bring forth and birth and walk out the very purpose for which we were born. So I want to ask those listening, what has God given you to do? You know what's in you. You may be a little intimidated by it, but don't be intimidated by it because yes. your obedience is obedience is better than sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Even if you have to step out, you know, with a little bit of trepidation, whatever God said to open a business, to start the ministry, to write the book and spread the gospel. What is the Lord saying to mm -hmm. us? The time is short and we must, be the manifesting sons. We must be the manifesting sons and daughters mm -hmm. and change agents for what God uh, is doing in this in this season and in this hour. We have labored. <clears throat> we have lost. We have lost a lot, a lot of things. We've been forsaken. We've been scorned, tried in the fire. And now we are coming forth as pure gold. <laughs> pure gold. Dreams, visions, hopes. They have seemingly been delayed uh, or never to manifest. We thought this this will never happen. God showed me this, but it will never happen. Yes, it will happen because Amen. it's he that's doing the work in us. And finally, we can say we've graduated. We're no longer on, on the, we're not on the threshing floor, though the threshing floor is a wonderful place to be. We are been purged and pruned and prepared. So what happens is, and I'm experiencing this now, is that all of a sudden doors are opening and manifesting that I thought would never happen. So I'm experiencing it too. I'm getting phone calls and people saying, can you do this? Can you come? And I'm like, really? So it's time. So just as I was surprised, I want to tell, tell the saints and all the listeners, get ready for your surprise. Because <laughs> yes. God is about to just blow our socks off mm -hmm. and, and really make it, make it easy for us to just step into our purpose by his promises. It's God's release in this season of birthing of destiny purpose that we walk it out to save, heal, and deliver the broken. June, again, I said, is a month of transformation, release, and manifestation for the saints of God. The scripture from John 9, 4 through 5, I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. Yes. For the night comes that no man can work. What mm -hmm. does that mean? It's going to come a time when if you don't get it done within God's time frame and you're being disobedient just because you're fearful, not because you really want to be disobedient, mm -hmm. because you, you got to go afraid then. Just go afraid. Take, take that step. I feel like people... 
uh, don't have the confidence they feel they need, but your confidence is Christ. Christ mm -hmm. in you. That's right. The hope of glory. Amen. I just feel an urgency just to remind the saints to, if you be hidden in Christ, stay there. <laughs> <laughs> Guard your heart with all diligence. Uh, the enemy is angry. He's seeking whom he may devour. But when you stay hidden in him, you walk in the spirit. You don't fulfill the lust of the flesh. Wow. I've got this last scripture that I'll read from 2 Corinthians, the first chapter. Praise be to God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all of our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves have received from God. For just as the sufferings of Christ flow over into our lives, so also through Christ our comfort overflows. If we are mm -hmm. distressed, it is for your comfort and salvation. If we are comforted, it is for your comfort, which produces in you patience, endurance of the same sufferings we suffer. And our mm -hmm. hope for you is firm because we know that as you share our sufferings, we also share in comfort. So I'm, I'm, I'm feeling birthing pains. We're having birthing pains. But even in the midst of having birthing pains, there's a rest. The, the scripture even says it. There's a rest to the people of God. Um, so when you get to this place as a mature Christian and you, again, walking in the spirit and not fulfilling the lust of the flesh, it's easy to do because Christ can flow. You ever have your your, your sink uh, just back up with a lot of old food and you, everything gets gets backed up and nothing can flow through? The, the parallel there is get out of your own way. <laughs> you know, let Christ cleanse, purge, deliver you from sin, whatever it is, from any bondages, because we must be pure vessels of honor for him to use us. Amen. And so that will make us the change agent that he is using because the creation, this is the last word I promise. <laughs> the whole creation is groaning for the manifestation of coach Ariel. Amen. <laughs> and brother Drew. Yes, that's right. And coach Preecy. <laughs> Yes. Right, and my sister Saint Anne, Amen. and my sister Cassandra. The creation is waiting for us. We have accountability to God to be the vessel of honor mm -hmm. that He can use in this season. Mm -hmm. I think I might make a T-shirt called and put "Change Agent" on it, so people can start asking me questions. <laughs> yes, Amen. That that is the word of the Lord. So I challenge all the listeners to to really go before the throne of God and. Fast and pray if needed, because uh, the fasting and prayer gets gets you out of the way so you can hear clearly for instructions of what you are to do for God's kingdom. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for sharing that wonderful message that you have shared in this program, Kingdom Talk. Thank you for sharing your time. Amen. Thank you for serving your gift, not only to your place, but also to the world and to all the sphere of influence. Until next time, kingdom salute to you. Kingdom salute to you. Amen. amen and amen. Before we end everybody. today, can you sing the song, I'm coming back to the heart oh. of... Okay, then you, you got it. You got it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm coming back to the heart of worship and it's all about you. All about you, Jesus. I'm really sorry for the thing I made it. And it's all about you. And it's all, all about, about you, Jesus. Jesus. I'm coming back to the heart of worship. And it's all about you. And it's all about you, Jesus. Amen and amen. Thank you. You Hallelujah. serve your gift twice, not only to share the message, but also by singing in this program, Kingdom Talk. It all belongs to him. Amen. amen. Always to the king. Always to the king. Amen. amen. Thank God you bless. for your life. Kingdom <laughs> salute to you again. <laughs> we we'll salute again. God bless you. Amen.